Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup. I'm filling in for Tom O'Brien today. Well, we got a lot going on. We have Tim Ward. We have Larry on next segment. Let's take a look what we have going on. So awesome pop-ups today. We have the Dow futures up 1.64%, 34,950. We have ES Mini up 2.12%. We have the NQs up 2.23%. The Russell up almost 5% today. We'll talk about the bonds in a second here. We have the gold contract, gold futures, uh, up 1%. We'll take a look a little more, as I was saying. With the dollar coming down, which is really what we're seeing today, right? CPI was good. People are seeing that interest rates may be at their top, and they're going to come back down a little bit. We obviously have the bonds popping up quite a bit on that. We'll take a look at the 10-year in a moment. Taking a look at the gold contracts, we have a volume of about yeah, 100 and Let's see here, 167,000, which is good, right? But if we're looking at, you know, Tom sent over some charts as well to take a look at here. Um, we're looking at something like 200,000 on the volume, right? So as Tom has written here, this is the Bloomberg charts. Look at the gold will need more volume as it trades at a higher price, right? We had a little bit of a pullback over the past month um, when it moved a lot higher. Um, but if the dollar continues to go low and reach the um, levels about like $99, uh, dollars, then we could probably see the gold contract take off uh, pretty significantly. Silver at 3.7%. It's fantastic for silver holders as well. And then the copper contract uh, trading up only about 0.45%. Take a look here. Tesla has blown up 6% on some news regarding China. It's massive. And also their supercharging stations as they're called, the, uh, the supercharger network is now again really solidified as this will be the kind of standard charging model for all EV vehicles. So we had some pretty nice volume on that. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty stellar. So we're trading up about 237 right now. Um, obviously, the high from last month was about 268, 61. We had a big sell off here on some pretty significant volume, but we're trailing right back up. Tesla is pretty persistent uh, price-wise. Take a look at Meta, up 2.32%. Google, up 1.94%. Disney trading back up in the 90s, which is good for all Disney holders, 1.93%. Southern Copper, up about 5%. The miners are doing all right. Steel Dynamics uh, made some huge moves. Again, we were talking, this is trading in a channel about 100 to 110. Uh, we had that breakdown uh, around this area, September 18th, on a significant volume uh, compared to the rest of the trading. Um, we reached as high as 114.18, came back down, and we'll, uh, on, on some lighter volume, honestly, on the, on the back down here. Uh, so I'm going to be watching this stock a little bit more to see if we have kind of a new trend forming uh, with it. But when you can find a stock or in any kind of equity that, you know, trades in such a distinct kind of pattern, it's awesome to get in there and... Um, and just ride the wave on that. On top of the rates, kind of, you know, supposedly going to be going down, right? CPI was pretty great. We'll take a look at the um, uh, the release later. Uh, kind of, uh, kind of pick through essentially the charts and everything that were uh, given to us by the government here. Uh, but the home builders were doing uh, phenomenal as well. So we have MHO up seven point eleven today. Uh, DF. H, this is Dream Finders Homes Incorporated, up 7.07%. BZH up 9.56%. Taylor Morrison Home up 7.14%. And uh, I just think, oh, here we are. And then Tolls up 8.43%. I mean, that's anyone who's holding the bag in some of these home builders uh, is doing pretty good today. We'll take a look at the SPX. This is in a, an ABC up, right? The price projection for this is $462. The B point was the November 10th. It took that out, um, you know, pretty solidly. And so we're looking at essentially a price projection on that with the ABC up of 462 The QQQs as well, let's take a look. It's 58 million, taking out 53 here on November 10th as well. Um, the A to B leg was passed then, and it's a 40202 price projection as well, and we are just... I'm uh, going to see if we can ride this up. And if we look to in the, let me see if on the NQs, this was pretty interesting because we've been going down for so long, right? If we take a look on the three-year chart here, we have the high right at about 16,767, right? I mean, we're nearing this here on the three-year high. 
And then right here, if we look at the high for the year, July 17th, we're trading right about 1684. And we're getting there right now. We're at 15,908 in NQ futures. Um, when I took a look at this chart and saw that's how close you were to the, to the early highs, it was almost crazy to think about because it felt like we'd been going down for so long. Um, but anyways, this is pretty stellar what we have going on. The DXY, take a look, they changed the ticker. They had the dollar sign in front of it on here. Let's get out of the three years. We can just go to the year to date. Obviously, we had a big gap down. That's with conviction for sure. Um, this kind of price floor, essentially, that Tom was looking at, right? That was the 104.69 area. Well, clearly, this just blew past it entirely, right? We're trading at 104.04. This is essentially on the way down to 99.57. This is what we're looking at uh, from Tom again. This is in Market Insights. If you guys aren't subscribed, it is a one-month free trial for first-time subscribers. Go take a look uh, because the market was called beautifully uh, this time around. And so it's pretty nice to look at. NVIDIA up 2.39% and the GDX up 5% currently. We can take a look at the consumer price index. Let's move over here. See if I can blow this up a little bit. All right, so let's take a look, right? Because a lot of people, you know, we just read, uh, let's say, like articles that kind of tell us um, what happened. And it's always good to kind of go to the original source to kind of get your information. So you can look here. This is the change per month. And so we essentially had zero, right? And this is all items. And we'll take a look at how this kind of averaged out. We had a 0.3% increase in food. Food away from home increased about the same. Energy up 0.4%. So obviously we have gas prices a little bit lower right now. Um, we have energy commodities that actually uh, deflated 2.5% uh, from the last month. Let's see on gasoline down 4.9% and then fuel oil in general down five electricity. I'm trying to follow this right here. Electricity up 0.3% utility 1.2%. Um, and so that's pretty, that's pretty solid for everything. We have medical services going down a little bit. What happened with that that was bringing it up is people were essentially, again, now spending money um, from their health insurers after a long time of not doing so with COVID. And that kind of shakes up a little bit of the numbers uh, that the health insurance reporters uh, kind of have. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back with Larry Pesavento.